This video will show you how to use our mass sequencer to operate your signals automatically. The wiring is simple. It forms part of our versatile signaling range. The mass sequencer is positioned under the baseboard at the arrow. Its built-in infrared detectors are located between the sleepers. When the front of the train reaches a mass sequencer, the signal changes to red. After the train has cleared the mass sequencer, the signal is changed by an adjustable timed sequence. This signal changes to red before the front of the train has left the platform. Many full-size colour light signals also work automatically. They use a track circuit to detect the train, and this may be very close to the signal. When the train passes the next signal down the line, this signal changes to yellow. Then double yellow and finally green as the train passes further signals. Signals show a yellow to warn the driver to start slowing, as the next signal will be red. For fast trains on busy lines this does not give sufficient stopping distance, so an extra yellow, i.e. double yellow, warns the driver to start slowing as the next signal will be yellow. If the signal is yellow or double yellow it still returns to red. This is the mass sequencer circuit board. These are the infrared sensors. We have used some packing to get the infrared sensors level with the bottom of the sleepers. On the circuit board there is a red LED which lights to show the mass sequencer is detecting. This LED is useful to make sure the mass sequencer is positioned properly. The length of the sequence is adjusted by rotating this potentiometer with a small screwdriver. The maximum time is 1 minute 18 seconds. We have used the minimum time whilst making this video. Power is connected to these two terminals marked 0V and plus. You can use 12 volts DC or 12 to 16 volts AC. These terminals are for the wires from the signal. White is the common, red goes to the red LED, yellow to the yellow LED, green to the green LED, and black to the extra double yellow LED. These are all the connections you need to get the mass sequencer working. If you wish to override the signal to red, either with a toggle switch or a contact on a point motor, then the contact or switch must connect RR to 0V. This toggle switch is connected to RR and 0V with the grey wires. Closing the switch overrides the signal to red. Opening the switch returns normal operation. You can have lots of signals along the same line all in the correct sequence. These extra signals are controlled by AirDAS scoreboards. A single wire between each circuit board provides the synchronisation.